Can you hear me now? I don't work for Verizon. I got a captive audience out here of, of one. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. I just got one. All right. I'm an advocate. I'm an advocate for homelessness and I'm an advocate about prisoners' rights. All right. That's what I'm an advocate about. Now, here come the police. And if they stop, we're going to have a real conversation. We really is. He kept on going, didn't he? <laughs> That's Baltimore County Police Department, so don't say that I'm a terrorist no more. Y'all came up here and seen I'm putting this toilet out. I'm getting ready to do it again. In 2011, I put a toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse. It was about racism and homelessness. It was about racism in your courts and how you treat homeless people and how you treat black people. You treat us the same. We're at the bottom of the ladder. Racism and homelessness. Homelessness don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. Homelessness is just homelessness in your prison industry. So I use the toilet as a common denominator. Toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. Now, ABC2 knew about this. Charles Gibson knew about this. Uh, a lot of people knew about this, but y'all permitted them to lock me up. This toilet is about the war on drugs. In 1986, I turned in guns and drugs. In 2011, I turned in the toilet because you got a lot of people locked up in jail. And we go to jail, we got to share that toilet. Yeah, that toilet has a high significance. In 2006, when I started this, I showed Governor Hogan, I mean, Governor O'Malley, my crown. I still got my crown, Governor O'Malley. Governor O'Malley and 52 members of the Democratic Party participated in my kidnapping in 2011. You normally lied to the grand jury, presented false evidence to the grand jury. You didn't show the grand jury the tapes. You didn't show them the videos. Making a movie ain't against the law. Kidnapping is. So this is how the story goes. That's the Baltimore Sun, that's Brent Jones, that's ABC, that's NBC, that's CBS, that's CNN, Fox 45, all right, and that's MSNBC, and that's Charles Gibson, World News Report on 66th Street. That's Shorty the Documentary. That's Shorty the Documentary. See that? Documentary, Ben Cardin's. We're talking about racial profiling, all right, and that's the Creative Alliance. And that's my film crew. Like I said, I was making a documentary. My documentary. Do you want to see it? Yeah. That's the White House. And the documentary is about your prison industry. The money you make off of stop and frisk and zero tolerance. Remember when y'all made the stop snitching video in 2006? That's what I made this off of. The stop snitching video. And Schellenberger going to snitch. Schellenberger kidnapped me and he took the evidence. That's Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake and Commissioner Davis. All right. Told you I was doing this office of promotions and arts. No law against making a movie. That's covered under the Constitution and the First Amendment. See that? That's WJZ. That's a consent to be videotaped. So WJZ, parole and probation, play the whole video. Because this is your elected officials. Y'all had this before I got locked up. DD Shortman at AOL.com. Y'all had this. That's Brown Omen. I gave y'all that. And I gave it to the Department of Justice. Y'all had that in 2014. It's about your police and your policing. Bobby Zirkin got it. And Glenn got it. So make sure that y'all tell the truth and shame the devil. Because it's all about your policing. That's my fingerprint. That's Senator Ben Cardin's federal grand jury request. Defend my constitutional rights. That's in 2011. That's in 2011. Judge Pearson. You see that? 2011. Bobby Zirkin. It's flag day tomorrow and it's my mother's birthday. So I'm raising the flags. These are your representatives. Black lives don't matter. Black money do. Photo con connects people to stories. That's Martin Luther King. And these are your elected officials because I was making a movie about them. How they represent us because this is Shorty's Underground. The Underground Railroad. I've been using toilets for a long time. Ask David Wright, the lawyer. These are the supporters of Shorties. It's art and activism. That's all it was. I was kidnapped by the state, and this is the case. Y'all been sitting on this for two years. That's the Civilian Review Board. Y'all had this. That's Public Accommodations, 1964, Martin Luther King. That's Commissioner Davis. That's Justin Fenton. That's Maya Cummings, 
Congressman Cummings' wife. That's John Hopkins University. Like I said, I can't breathe. That's Telma Branch. Town hall meeting about race. That's Telma Branch, and he had that. That's Congressman Cummings. Yeah. And that's the Department of Justice. They destroyed evidence. You feel me? And we're going to tell the truth and shame the devil. Nick Mosby? Yeah. You're going to be a witness or a defendant. Because it's time to shame the devil. It's Sunday morning. That's my Department of Justice number. And these are the people. Governor O'Malley and his 52 friends. Yeah. This is Maryland. That's Chicago, that's America, and this is Maryland. And these are your elected officials that have full knowledge of this. John Wells, Luke Clippinger, Corey McRae, Kwaisi and Fume. And this is your plantation owner, Donald Fry and the Greater Baltimore Committee. Jane Miller got it. So do Nick and his wife, Nick and Marilyn Mosby. That's Judge Bennett at the courthouse. Richard McFeely, the Baltimore... All right. I don't want no misunderstandings because I'm talking about ending the war on drugs that address the violence. I'm talking about pulpit pimps. They get paid to, man, Jesus never raised as much money as you raised. That's the NAACP, Benjamin Jealous, U.S. Department of Justice. And those are leaders of a beautiful struggle. And where are they leading you at? Because you ain't opened your mouth. You ain't opened your mouth. You ain't open your mouth. You can't have a ceasefire if you don't talk about the war on drugs. That's Benjamin Brooks. That's out for justice. And these are the supporters of Shorty. I'm an honorably discharged veteran of the United States Navy. We're gonna talk about Iran Contra. We're gonna talk about the drugs and the guns you put in our community. We're gonna talk about Kiefer Mitchell and Kurt Anderson. Racism don't work without black cooperation. That's President Barack Obama. And that's the Secret Service, because you've been to my house. That's me, locked up on Bosley Avenue. That's Frank Conway, the Judiciary Committee. I want to testify. Matter of fact, you already got my testimony. Yeah, we're going to tell the truth and shame the devil. I'm getting ready to get to that in a minute. That's State Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. That's the 86 case. We're gonna play these tapes in front of the grand jury. I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? That's the Supreme Court 2007. I wrote Chief Justice Roberts and told him I was making the movie. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower. And that's the jailhouse diary. Filed 2009, long before I got locked up. Y'all took this property from me and didn't return it. You see, you see it? It says whistleblower. Dwayne G. Davis, 2008, whistleblower, and that's Eric Holder. So President Biden, what are you going to do? Because that's Obama, and that's 2006, my store on Falls Road, get shorty. That's me, 1402 Lochner, President Obama. The ball is in your court. What are you going to do? Because we know he don't care about black people. Racism don't work without black cooperation. But we already know that he racist. But where do you stand on kidnapping? Where do you stand on racism? It's your turn. The ball is in your court. See, a toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. This is my 10th anniversary. 10 years ago, I put a toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse. Just like this. I've been in business since 1997. Shorty's bootleg, I mean, Shorty's barbecue. Shorty's underground. Like Harriet Tubman, this is my underground. I use food as my conduit. I use food to feed the community. I use food to build relationships. I'm the founding member of the Baltimore Block, and we community strong. This is to prove I was making a movie about racism in the judicial system. That's a notary. And you see that? These are mail receipts. These are mail receipts. That's Al Ratmer, and these are DVDs. That's Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. He got that. He signed for that. You see the date? Brandon Scott been sitting on this evidence. You see what a date? I was making a movie and a book. 
And here goes the book and the movie. Professor Hannah, Black Reality. This is from 1986. Within the penitentiary, blacks have created an extension of the ghetto. That's T.J. Smith. He a witness to all of this. He came here with Commissioner Davis, and y'all put a lot of money in his pocket. Like I said, racism don't work without black cooperation. Dog, he got paid to sell us out. You just got back from Afghanistan. You was protecting those opioid fields. Yeah, the opioid epidemic came through the war on drugs. Like I said, that's the White House. And that's Governor Hogan and me and Mayor Pugh. So when Mayor Pugh get out of jail, she gonna snitch. This is the Stop Snitching video for 2021. I'm a whistleblower, but we're gonna make everybody tell the truth. We're gonna shame the devil on Sunday morning. Can you hear me now? Mike Jack! It's your wake up call, and I don't work for Verizon. It's like the walls of Jericho, we shouting Babylon down. Wanna stop the violence? In the war on drugs. Welcome to the big show. Show to pull your mask up? No, we on mask in Baltimore. We ain't supposed to bury our kids. Our kids are supposed to bury us. That's my motivation. I buried my son December the 2nd, 2006. I've been in this fight for a long time. I got a vested interest in this.